Okej, okay. jag är på väg till Kevin Schott, eller Skott, eller vad han kan heta. Han har i de här trakterna byggt ett jordhus, en Earthship, och jag är nu i Törreboda området. Alltså, det är lite häftigt utanför jordhuset. Jag har fortfarande inte gått in och hälsat på. Jag ska göra det. Det är lite som man är i, i Sagan och ringen eller Stjärnornas krig eller något. Hej! Hey. 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 Ja, det är så mycket synd det är. Um, I need to change the roof. No. Yeah, that's all right. We got the doors last. Okay. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. What a place. It's still a building site, but um, it's just about another month or so before we can get to the floors and uh, sand and oil them and everything. But it's been a long story here. Being Sweden's first Earthship, it took the, the whole pioneering <laughs> challenge and the legal and everything. Yeah. And then the family separated, so um, okay. I didn't. I didn't want to make the kids homeless, so I left the land for three years. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I came back, it was left to ruin, and they got into debt, and so we we officially took over as a couple. Oh, I see. So we designed it like a house. Whether it was going to be a house or not in the early days was unsure because it was such a legal fight we took. So we designed it like a house that had all the parts of a family home. Um, it's basically just one bedroom, which I'm just finishing on the west side now. So this is like a living room, all room behind you here. And it was designed not just for family, but I wanted to relaunch the cooperative from here. So it will be like a meeting local and And it's part of the self-financing plan as well for the last stage, the new greenhouse and botanical cells. We, mm. we can hire this site of the ship out, Airbnb, as a, a little non-profit fundraiser. Okay. And that will finance the final windows and frames for the, the southern greenhouse and the botanical cell. Um, yeah, the hand farts, the, the kitchen sink. But that's also sculpted around and under all these other planters and the shade house there. Uh, I keep talking about the greenhouse, but that's going to be added on the front of that. The shade house is for regenerating perennial species later uh, to take clones and cuttings and grow from seed. And we want to start a plant school as well, a nursery oh, really? from the same building. Yes. So that will be going south from, from here. This is the shade house. Um, It's a bit cooler in here at the moment because these windows are over 50 years old. Um, so there will be glass as a roof yeah, outside here. Yeah, all over the insulation plastic. Yeah. yeah. So I'll be, me and Sarah will be working with a thousand species of uh, food, fiber, fuels, um, medicine, plants, fungi, trees, bushes. Hmm. And we're going to conserve and regenerate every, every species from this as a cradle. And just keep scaling up, scaling up, scaling up, bring in the forests back, bring in food security back, and also serve as consultant and designers as well on the side, so we can help other people's projects get started. the shade house and here we've got the dining room this will be the central room of the, the whole building both for family purposes and cooperative and future networking uh, we will uh, we'll make a, a big big table again there for the center of the room and that's when we're officially live with all the ideas after that we've got somewhere to take people mm -hmm. uh, but right now i'm building a, a four poster bed in the bedroom so we're sleeping here and we're going to move that over to the frame when when the bedroom is more drier okay. we we have one earth floor left in the building which is causing high humidity um so i need to hurry up and get that sealed as well uh, okay. which is basically the storerooms at the back there. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the bathroom yeah that would be the shower cubicle all the pipes are already put in i did that over the winter they're actually cemented in place mm. Uh, dry toilet's been authorized for own composting, so we've paid for that now, we're legal. Um, and there's a sink here that I'm going to put in here. Uh, 
pan fried. Mm. And that's all plumbed in ready. Yeah. And then out here we're gonna have the washing machine. So I put in an extra grey water point and an extra cold water tap point here okay. to, to put a washing machine in and fry it on there. But then this door will go out to the final greenhouse and that's where all the water will go. All right. And this is the bedroom. Uh, this is where it's all restarting for me and Sarah anyway. Mm. So it's two more days of woodwork here and then I've got two weeks of cement work to finish the bedroom and bathroom. So I'm just putting in wardrobes at the back at the moment and another door to yeah. control the humidity in here and then we can seal the edges of the floor and drop the humidity further. Yeah. And I'll build up a covered space here where it folds up as a table. Mm -hmm. uh, but it'll also be storage for bed clothes and things like that. There'll be drawers underneath for extra clothes, storage, uh, headboard at the back. So I just need to drop that humidity before I put too much more wood and soft things in here first, otherwise they'll just mold. Yeah. And in the corner will be a fantastic arty farty fireplace uh, sculpted in as the grand finale. <laughs> so it will be luxury, oh, and a sliding glass door here as well. Mm. But it will be a luxury bedroom by the time it's finished. Oh, I can imagine. If I go back 20 years to do this differently, mm. I wouldn't have focused on the whole footprint all at once all from the ground up. I would take the same design, but I would start with one bedroom and build it completely yeah. <coughs> and then just add to the side of that uh, space yeah. by space mm -hmm. and make functional rooms as soon as possible. Mm -hmm.